while it's bloody wet. Thanks for joining us this morning, whether you're from WA in the high rainfall zone or here in southern Victoria, just outside of Geelong. The one thing we've got in common is it's been incredibly wet. It's certainly a year to think about disease in your crops. And you join us here just at the appropriate stage in southern Victoria for that first fungicide timing. If you're joining us from WA, you're probably coming up to that second timing. So in a wet season, what is it that we're actually wanting to look for and make sure we've got covered in our crops? This crop of planet barley might look clean, but actually if we take a closer look, whether you're actually here in Southern Victoria looking at net form of net blotch, or in fact, in Esperance or Albany port zone looking at swap form of net blotch. It's net blotches that are very prominent along with the other wet weather disease, scold, at the moment. So our fungicides now coming up to this first timing, this is an ideal crop to make sure that we're protecting the first of what we call our money leaves, the important ones. This crop is at growth stage 31 and we need to put fungicide on these important leaves. The effect of that is that we look at crops that actually are greener later in the season. And right now, at this site, at our Victorian Crop Technology Centre, you can actually see the effects of the seed treatment Sestiva that we put on at seeding versus none at all. And this shows you, and we see this both in Victoria and over in Esperance against spot form of net blotch. This is our Sestiva on the left and then are untreated on the right. And you can see in the base of the canopy that you've got this differential greening due to the seed treatment effect. However, one of the things that we found within our hyper yielding crops project and previous work is that it is the second fungicide timing in a very wet spring that actually creates green leaf retention in the most important leaf in barley, flag minus one. When it comes to fungicide choice for that second fungicide, if you've had that wet period leading up to flag leaf and orm tip, please bear in mind that this pathogen net blotch, both in WA, in spot form of net blotch, in SA, in parts of SA, in net form of net blotch, has displayed resistance to and reduced sensitivity to some of our commonly used fungicides. So make sure that you talk to your advisor about the instances of resistance or fungicide resistance that might be in your region before you make those product choices. And wherever possible, try and ring the changes such that we're not applying the same active ingredients for the second spray that we applied for the first spray. This is vitally important. So in summary, whilst we can create green retention in the base of this crop. In a wet spring, as we have almost across the high rainfall zone this, this spring, it's the three week following the first fungicide timing. And I'm mindful that in WA you're coming into that second spray timing. It's actually this second fungicide that puts fungicide directly on the main important leaf which sits one below the flag leaf in barley. That in a wet spring we've seen from results last year is a very important spray to maximize the yield and the profitability of the crop. So 
don't miss it. Monitor that period following your first fungicide at this 31 timing for a period of three or four weeks. And don't let that gap stretch out more than four weeks because the disease will start to move into those important leaves.